I'm Miss Rochelle. Welcome to the Hewitt Public Library Toddler Story Time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. This week we are continuing our series on early literacy skills. So we've talked about print motivation and print awareness. I threw in a little extra on picture books. And now we are talking about letter knowledge, letter awareness. Letter knowledge is knowing uh, that letters are different from each other and that the same letter can look different. And it's also knowing that letters have sounds. So around age three, so we're jumping ahead. This is for age group one to three. I just wanna put everything in perspective. So around age three, you can expect on average that sometime in that year, your child may be able to sing the alphabet song, may know that alphabet letters are a specific category of pictures that they're different from the other pictures in a book. They may start showing an interest in the letters of their first name, especially their first initial. And they may begin to identify some of the letters in their first name. And then around age four, they may start knowing some of the uppercase letters and they may understand more about speech sounds and begin to make letter sound matches. So with all that being said, with that happening at age three and four, what we're doing with toddlers age one and three is a lot of exposure and a lot of you modeling um, the, the letter and sounds, and the way letters are made and just making it fun, doing games, reading books, and that's how you expose them. So before children learn actual letters, they are aware of shapes. And so before they have coordination to hold a crayon, they can move their arms and bodies into shapes. And so it's not time to try to put a crayon in your child's hand and get them to make the letter A, but it might be time to start trying to do little songs and dances that have the letters A with their body. I am linking on Facebook. You will find some links below the information flyer to two Jack Hartman uh, videos that use dance and one is a um, I think he calls it a workout song for the alphabet. And, but both of them use the body and arms to make the motions of the alphabet. And so this is a, a wonderful thing for your child to do. Um, point out the shapes of, of letters as you're reading with your child. You can take your child's hand and have them trace the letters. Start labeling things. Start labeling with your child's name. If your child is going to daycare, you may already be doing that, but for you stay at home parents, uh, start labeling things around the house with your child's name. It brings attention to their name. If your child is old enough for the little alphabet magnetic letters to not be a choking hazard, then you can get those, put them on the fridge and let them start playing with those. And um, for those where that still might be a choking hazard, sometimes you can get the foam letters and put those out for your child to play with. Um, start talking about things as being bigger, smaller. Uh, those type of characteristics will help you when you start describing letters. And then talk about the first letter of your child's name. That's usually the letter that a child first is first interested in knowing about. So for example, my child's name, uh, my son's name is Jake. And so when he was little and we were in the grocery store and I saw a J, I could say, oh, there's J. That's the first letter of your name, Jake. And just doing that often, uh, he soon was able to point that out and say that back to me there's the letter J, that's the first letter of my name, mommy. And so he kind of learned that without thinking about it. And it's just an easy way to introduce letters and get them talking about it. You're checking off a lot of boxes when they're able to parrot that back to you. The other thing that you can do um, is using your alphabet books, and we have so many at the library. 
I had such a hard time choosing which alphabet books to introduce today because we have a lot of them. So I just tried to find some that kind of show the alphabet in different ways. Um, so I had to choose this one because it's goblins in green and it's October and Halloween is coming up. And so this one is just going through the alphabet and has pictures of goblins on each page. And it's just a cute book if you think that's something that your child might enjoy. This one is I Spy ABC. And I had to choose this one because I Spy is something that you will want to play with your child as your child gets older with the alphabet, I spy a J and try to get your child to find that J. In this book, the letters are huge. <laughs> and so it's very easy to take your child's hand and trace the letter. And then each letter has hidden pictures. And your child may not be quite ready to understand that they are supposed to look for a hidden picture, but you can model this for your child. And so you can trace the letter and you can talk about the hidden pictures. The one on the end is Firefighters A to Z. Uh, there's another one here, um, ABC Safari. And so there are quite a few books that you can find that are centered around a subject. And um, this one has beautiful pictures, but you're learning about the safari as you learn about the alphabet. You're learning about firefighters as you learn about the alphabet. Keep these in mind as your child gets older. Um, this was sometimes the easiest way I could introduce research at an elementary level. So there are ABC books about the rainforest, all kinds of subjects. And children struggle a little bit in the beginning with research skills. And so don't forget about your ABC books because it's a real fun way for them to learn about those topics and go on a fact finding mission. This one is A, You're Adorable. It's a song and I used to sing this song, it's all about how you love your baby. And so, how you love your little one. And so, A, I'm not going to sing this for you, but A, you're adorable. B, you're so beautiful. C, you're a cutie full of charm. I used to include this as one of the bedtime songs. And so, I was checking off a lot of boxes because I was teaching the alphabet at the same time. And then as uh, your child gets older, you can make a new, lines for the song and so it's a lot of fun it's all about loving your child it's building self-esteem it's building social emotional skills and you're teaching them the alphabet um i this is the second time i've shown this book i think i showed this on week one i didn't go back to see when it was but um i just wanted to pull it because it does show the sign language for each letter of the alphabet and then this is another one, Shiver Me Letters. It's a pirate ABC book, and it tells a little story as you go through the alphabet. And this one is really cute, the sleepy little alphabet. Um, the uppercase letters are the parents, and the lowercase letters are the children, and the children don't want to go to bed. So this is a good bedtime story. And it shows all the antics that the little lowercase letters are up to, trying not to listen to their parents that they need to get ready for bed. And then of course, at the end, see you in the morning, ABCs. And all the little lowercase letters are tucked in their bed and going to sleep for the night. So this is really cute and it's such a fun way to introduce uppercase and lowercase letters. Are you ready for story time? Are you ready for story time? Clap your hands. Are you ready for story time? Clap your hands. If you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, clap your hands. Are you ready for story time? Nod your head. Are you ready for story time? Nod your head. 
If you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, nod your head. Today we're reading a book titled The Sleepy Little Alphabet. I see lots of letters. The Sleepy Little Alphabet, a bedtime story from Alphabet Town, written by Judy Sierra, illustrated by Melissa Sweet. It's sleepy time in Alphabet Town as moms and dads run around and round. The little letters skitter scatter, helter skelter, what's the matter? Uh-oh, A is wide awake and B still has a bath to take. With chubby C and rub-a-dub D, make room for me, says Incy E. Oh, look at all the little letters taking a bath. I see C, D, E taking a bath. F is full of fidgety wiggles. G has got the googly giggles. H tries standing on her head. I and, J, I and J jump on the bed. There's H standing on her head. And I and J jumping on the bed. K won't give a kiss goodnight. I cries, don't turn off the light. M is mopey. N is naughty. There's M, and there's naughty N. Oh look, N made a mess. N needs to pick up his toys. Oops, O and P upset the potty. Oh no. Q is quiet as a bunny. Aw, oh, Q is drawing. R and S read something funny. <laughs> R and S are laughing. T tucks in her teddy bear. Aw, oh, how sweet. T tucked in her teddy bear. So sweet. U takes off his underwear. V is very, very snoozy. W is wobbly woozy. X expects a great big hug. Y is a yawning cuddle bug. Snoring Z's. Oh, Z is in bed fast asleep. See you in the morning, ABCs. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y N Z. Now I said my ABCs. Won't you try and sing with me?
Okay, we have two rhymes for today. The first one is helping us learn the letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D. Can everyone say A, B, C, D? This is to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. A, B, C, D, dinosaur. That is what the D stands for. Some are big, some are small. I like dinosaurs most of all. A, B, C, D, dinosaur. That is what the D stands for. Have fun with this and make up your own verses to this song using different letters of the alphabet and see how many verses you can come up with. This next one tells a story and there are a lot of rhyming words in the story. And there are words that start with the same letter T. T. So here we go. Trip, trap, trip, trap, across the bridge they come. Trip, trap, trip, trap, crossing one by one. Trip, trap, trip, trap, the baby takes a stroll. Trip, trap, trip, trap, over the sleeping troll. Trip, trap, trip, trap, louder taps I hear. Trip, Trap, trip, trap, the middle goat is near. Trip, trap, trip, trap, stomps the biggest goat. Trip, trap, trip, trap, the troll goes in the moat. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.